Hi everyone, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be learning about the vocabulary related to a specific topic. This is a great way to improve your English skills in several ways. 1. Listening Comprehension by learning the vocabulary related to this topic, you'll be better able to understand conversations about this topic. 2. Vocabulary. As you learn new words and phrases related to this theme, you'll be expanding your vocabulary in a meaningful way. 3. Idioms. English is full of idioms, which are phrases that have a figurative meaning. By learning the idioms related to a specific theme, you'll be able to understand them when you hear them in conversation or in the media. 4. Grammar. Some of the words and phrases you'll listen have specific grammatical rules. By learning these rules, you'll be able to use these words and phrases correctly in your own conversations. In this video the sentences are read twice with a different accent. At the end of the video, you'll be able to Understand conversations about this new topic proposed by English CONV. Use the vocabulary related in your own conversations. Recognize and understand idioms related to this topic. Use the grammar in different situations. So if you're looking for a way to improve your English skills, be sure to check out this video. Family vocabulary Kinship – the relationship between members of the same family The kinship between them was evident in their shared mannerisms. Lineage Direct descent from an ancestor. She's proud of her royal lineage. Progeny. A descendant or the descendants of a person, animal, or plant. He was surrounded by his numerous progeny. Ancestry. One's family or ethnic descent. He was proud of his Irish ancestry. Patriarch, matriarch, the male, female head of a family. My grandfather was the patriarch of our family. Nuclear, extended family, your immediate family, nuclear, or your family including aunts, uncles, and grandparents, extended. We're having a reunion with our extended family. Maternal, paternal, related through the mother's, maternal, or father's, paternal, side of the family. He inherited the house from his paternal grandmother.
sibling rivalry, competition between siblings. Sibling rivalry was common in their household. Black sheep of the family. A family member who is considered a disgrace. He's always been the black sheep of the family. Ties that bind. The relationships and connections within a family. The ties that bind us are strong. Family tree. A diagram showing the relationships between people in several generations of a family. She traced her ancestry through her family tree. Generation gap. Differences of outlook or opinion between people of different generations. There's a real generation gap between my parents and me. Domestic bliss. A happy and peaceful home life. They enjoyed their domestic bliss. Skeletons in the closet. Disgraceful or embarrassing family secrets. Every family has a few skeletons in the closet. Blood is thicker than water. Family relationships are stronger than relationships with other people. In times of crisis, we remember that blood is thicker than water. Festive gathering. A family gathering to celebrate a holiday or special occasion. The festive gathering was full of joy and laughter. Family feud. A lasting conflict between family members. The family feud started over a misunderstanding. Estranged. No longer close or affectionate to someone. Alienated. He is estranged from his family. Inheritance. Something that is or may be inherited. The siblings fought over their father's inheritance. Line of descent. The genealogical relationship between an individual and the individual's progenitors. The line of descent can be traced back to the 16th century. Ancestral home. The home or region where your ancestors originally came from. She visited her ancestral home in Italy. Descendants. People who are the offspring of a certain ancestor or family. He has many descendants spread across the country. Family heirloom. A valuable object that has been given by older members of a family to younger members of the same family over many years. The necklace is a family heirloom. Passed down through generations. Next of kin. Your closest living relative or relatives. 
In case of any emergency, please contact my next of kin. Baptism, christening, a Christian sacrament of initiation and adoption. We're attending the christening of my niece this Sunday. Bar Mitzvah, Bat Mitzvah, Jewish ceremonies for boys and girls reaching the age of maturity. His Bar Mitzvah will take place next month. Wedding Anniversary, the date a wedding took place in a previous year. They're celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. Baby shower. A party to celebrate the expected birth of a baby. I'm hosting a baby shower for my sister. Family strife. Trouble or disagreement between family members. Family strife can often lead to stress. Estrangement. Being no longer close or affectionate to someone. Alienated. He has been in estrangement from his family for years. In laws, relatives by marriage. My in laws are coming to visit us next week. Adoption the act of legally taking another's child and bringing it up as one's own. They're considering adoption. Single parent, a person bringing up a child or children without a partner. She's a single parent with two kids. Step family, a family where at least one parent has children from a previous relationship that are not genetically related to the other parent. They've become a step family after the marriage. Guardian. A person who looks after and is legally responsible for someone who is unable to manage their own affairs. Her aunt became her guardian after her parents passed away. Twins. Two children born to the same mother at the same birth. My brother and I are twins. Triplets. Three children born to the same mother at the same birth. The triplets are starting school this year. Siblings, brothers or sisters. I have three siblings. Generation, all of the people born and living at about the same time. There are three generations living in our house. Ancestor. A person, typically one more remote than a grandparent, from whom one is descended. My ancestors came from Europe.
Godparents. These are the people who promise to take care of a child if the child's parents cannot. My godparents always send me a gift on my birthday. Family connections. These are the relationships between various members of a family. Her family connections helped her get a job at the company. You've got a house full. This phrase is used when someone's house is full of people. With all the relatives visiting for the holidays, You've got a houseful. In laws, these are your relatives by marriage. My in laws are coming to visit us next week. To get a lot on his plate. This phrase means that someone has a lot of work or problems to deal with. He's got a lot on his plate right now with the new project at work. To be laid up. This phrase means to be unable to leave your bed or house especially because you're ill. She's been laid up with the flu for a week. She's been in the wars a bit. This phrase is used when someone has had a lot of problems or difficulties recently. She's been in the wars a bit lately, with her car breaking down and then her basement flooding. My poor dad's at his wit's end. This phrase means that someone is so worried, confused, or annoyed that they do not know what to do next. My poor dad's at his wit's end trying to deal with all the paperwork.